Hello everyone. So in this uh, short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this picture or piece of art that I call Egghead. Um, we have uh, three pictures that we're going to use. We have the egg cup itself. Uh, we have the picture of the guy screaming and we have a metal spoon. Well, um, let's get into it. First of all, I'll load in the picture of the egg cup inside of uh, Photoshop. Um, I know that, of course, I need the picture of his face or his head inside of the egg cup here, so I have to extend the picture itself. I can do this in two ways. I can use the shortcut, which is Control or Command Alt C, or I could go to Image uh, Canvas Size. Both of them will open this dialog here. Um, I know I need a, a lot more height to this uh, picture, so I'm going to go in here to say Height, um, and I will double the height. I'll set my anchor point to be at the bottom center position, which means that it will extend upwards. I'll just say okay. And here we now have a very high version of the same picture, just extended my canvas. Because this is a PNG image, it has just extended the uh, transparent background for me. Okay, so next up is I'm going to open a copy of the uh, guy here. I'll drag it up into the top bar here. So now it's open as a separate image. I could of course have loaded it into my uh, eggcup.png and then just masked out uh, the rest of his body. But here, basically we just need to cut him out uh, very quickly. So I'll take the uh, lasso tool. I'll do a quick selection around his neck here, cut off his face and all the way around like so. I will copy, so control C, then I'll go to the eggcup.png and say control V. I will now scale down this picture because right now it's way too large. By the way, hold down shift on your keyboard to make sure that it's, uh, it keeps its aspect ratio. I'll put it into place about here where I want it so that it would fit into the egg cup itself. We'll take this layer, we'll say okay to this transform for now, we can always rescale it later. Click okay. I'll drag it below my layer of my egg cup. So first problem is I need to cut out this piece of the egg cup and put it behind the picture of him. Otherwise we won't be able to put it inside of the egg cup itself. So select the layer that is the egg cup, which is here. And um, for this I will be using the polygonal lasso tool. I will zoom way in here. And it's basically a tool where you just click and can drag out a selection, you can click again and you'll have these uh, angular selections. Let's hit escape. So I will click up here. I'll go to the apex of the oval here. I'll click and then just click a couple of times uh, around the edge here. Make sure to make smaller selection rather than large ones. Otherwise we risk this selection being very angular and very uh, choppy. We don't want that. So on the way up here and then make a large selection around. Okay, so we need to cut this out and put it into its own layer. So we can just right click and we can choose layer via cut, which will just cut out the pixels and put it into its own layer, but in the same position as before. So layer via cut. We can now take this layer, which is now called layer two, and move it all the way to the far bottom of our layer stack. Suddenly it's behind him and we can take his head here choose the move tool and we can put him all the way into this egg cup if we wanted to. So that's an easy way to separate these two different layers. They still look like they're part of the same, but um, yeah, nice result. So next up, and the reason why I didn't wanna use this as a smart object and drag it directly into the picture itself was that we need to chop up uh, pieces of his head and spread them out into this area because we want that kind of explosion from the spoon um, hitting his head. Okay, so for this I'll be using the uh, lasso tool. So I'll click the lasso tool. Then I will select pieces of his head like so. And with the control or command on your keyboard, you can drag these pieces outwards. So we can even separate them into smaller bits and pieces. And the more the better, because if we add more of these uh, smaller chunks and everything, the realism or the detail goes up and well, the more detail, the better. So another thing that you could do is um, if we zoom in here and we do kind of a um, kind of a cut into his head like so, um, if we cut this piece out, 
We could actually make it seem like there is a crack into his skull all the way down here, like he has cracked open. We could add another little segment to that as well. Remember, of course, to chop these pieces up that you have out here then. I will very quickly just create a empty layer. I'll put it at the bottom of the layer stack. And I will fill this out with a white color. Of course, make sure to hit Control D to deselect any selection that you might have. Otherwise, you won't be able to paint the background. I'll go back to the layer of him and uh, back to my lasso tool. So um, for now, I actually think that I have a, a good enough detail in this picture here. So now um, we'll try to add the spoon. In this case, we'll add the spoon as a smart layer. So we'll just take the layer of the spoon, drag it directly on top of the open file that we have in Photoshop. So paste like so. I would like to rotate it a bit and move it into place. Probably something like this. Now I'll hit the OK up here and I will move the spoon just below the layer of his head. So now it seems like he has this spoon stuck inside of his head. One of the things that we uh, still need to do is we need to add shading. So shading is shadow areas that would be produced by these layers or these things being on top of each other. The simplest way to do this is to select the burn tool, which is over here. The standard selection is the dodge tool. We have the burn tool here. I'll start out by uh, choosing the highlights. I'll leave my exposure at 50%. I'll select his face first because I would like to just darken down this edge here. I also like to darken down some of the fragments out here just to make sure that they are a bit more visible. Also darken down here where we have the crack. Next up is I'll make the brush a bit bigger. You can hold down Alt and then right click, go left and right to change the diameter, go up and down to change the hardness of your brush. So I'll go along the edge of his chin down here, just to add a bit of shadow there. Now I will select the back layer of the egg cup here. So I will make my brush a bit smaller and I'll add this shadow here, like he's casting a shadow on that area. Okay, so now we also want to add it to the spoon, but currently the spoon, the metal spoon here, is a smart layer. And because it's a smart layer, we're not able to change anything on it. You can see I get this circle with a line through it that says, well, you're not allowed to change anything here. If we want to change something on the layer, we could click once and it'll say, well, it's a smart layer. Do you want to rasterize it? You could either say cancel or OK to proceed. For this, we'll just say OK. And now, make the brush a bit bigger, we could go about with the burn tool here add some shading to that as well. And voila, we have a guy stuck in an egg cup with a spoon in his head and cracked open skull. Yeah, that's the short little guide tutorial that I had for you today. Thank you for watching.